I'm a savage, trying to carry some of them with the Alice, I'm a natural, I'm a red. I'm a savage, I'm a hey asshole. Hey guys, welcome I'm back to my channel. So today's video is a one brand tutorial featuring all NYX products. I did a video like this a few months ago with Wet n Wild and you guys really enjoyed it. So I felt that it was only right if I brought back another one brand tutorial with another affordable brand. And so I felt that NYX would be the best brand to do this tutorial with. They have so many products from eyes to lips to face, uh, prep and priming, setting, they have it all. And so I thought that this was a really great brand to do a one brand tutorial with because you have so much variety to choose from. I do plan on doing a few more of these one brand tutorials here on my channel. So make sure you guys participate in the poll that I have running during this video. And in that poll, I'll list a few brands that I'm considering doing for my next one brand tutorial, like maybe MAC or BH Cosmetics or Kat Von D. And if the brand that you want to request isn't in the poll feel free to comment it down below in the comment section all of that information thrown at you guys let's go ahead and get into this tutorial brows I'm grabbing my NYX micro brow pencil in the color espresso so first I'm going to take the spoolie end of this product and brush out my brows this is going to be my first time using this product so I hope it works well because my brows do need a little help but I like that the pencil on this is super skinny because it helps you create those like hair-like strokes. And then after that, I'm going in with my NYX HD Concealer in the color tan. And I'm going to use this concealer to carve out my brows. And I think that this concealer is going to be a tad bit light for my under brow highlight. And so what I'm going to do is go into my NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palette and grab one of the shades out of here to help carve out my brows. And then I'm going to take this top shade out of the palette and use that on the top part of my brows because it's a little bit darker and closer to my skin tone color. All right, so now time to prime my skin. I will be using the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. And it feels really lightweight on the skin so far, which is really good. And you guys can say hello to my little friend here who's coming to visit me. Okay, so now it's time to color correct and I'm going back into that NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palette. And so I'm going to just place this corrector over any areas where I have any darkness or dark spots. So now for foundation, I will be using the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the color Cappuccino. And I didn't get any other shades in this, so I'm really nervous to see how this works with my skin tone. And so far, the color doesn't look horrible, but it is a bit orange on me. So I think I could probably go down a shade or maybe have to mix the two shades. So since I'm looking like a Oompa Loompa right now, I do have a backup foundation. And this one is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. And this is in the color Cinnamon Spice. I bought this about a month ago. And when I came home to try it out, it was a tad bit too light. So I think if I mix it with the drop foundation, it may give me like the perfect shade. So now I'm going to apply my concealer and I'll be grabbing that NYX HD concealer again. And this is my first time using this concealer. I've had it in my drawer like forever, but for whatever reason, I would just never reach for it. But I am so surprised by this coverage. It's really good. It's blending out nicely. And even this shade tan I thought would be too light for me, but I think it's a nice highlight color. So to set my concealer on my face and on my eyelids because it is starting to crease on my lids, I'm going to go in with the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And what worked for me since I'm used to using a loose powder. So I took my brush and just rubbed it into the powder to loosen it up. So I'm going to go ahead and dust this away. And I'll be using my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And this is in the color Nutmeg. Okay, so I zoomed in a bit so you guys could like see my eyes a bit better. And I did reapply that yellow pressed powder here around my mouth. Since I'm going to be talking throughout this tutorial, I tend to get creases right in here. So it's just best if I just leave this sitting here 
while I continue to talk through the tutorial if you guys are wondering why I didn't dust that away. The first shadow that I'm going to be grabbing is my NYX single shadow in the color Dance the Tides. So I'm going to start by sweeping this into my transition area. Alright, so next we're going to go into the NYX Love Contours All Palette. Inside it does have a ton of colors. It does have like two brow shades at the top. It has two contour shades, two highlighter shades, and then nine eyeshadows. So the first shade I'm going to be taking is that lighter contour shade out of the two. And I'm just going to apply this over that Dance the Tides to just further blend this color out so that it's a more seamless blend. Next, I'm going in with this dark brown number six shade, which is this really pretty chocolatey brown. And I'm going to start working this into my crease. And so now I'm going to take this number four deep, deep, deep eggplant purple shade. And I'm going to work this into my outer crease and outer V. And then I'm going to take that first fluffy brush and go back in with Dance the Tots and just blend all of these colors together. Okay guys, so now I'm going to cut my crease and I'm just going to take that concealer, that same concealer and just add a little bit to each lid. And then I'm going to take the number seven shade. So it's like a really pretty metallic, pinky magenta color. So now I'm going to go in and create a wing liner. So I'm not wearing any of NYX's lashes. I have tried a few of their lashes in the past, but they're not my favorite. So today I'm just wearing a pair of lashes from my friend Taylor here on YouTube. And she has a brand called Your Lash Bar and these are in the style Kamikaze. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in and apply some of those shadows on my lower lash line to kind of just tie this entire look together. So I'm just going to start out with that deep eggplant color. Just a little sum sum. And I also don't have a NYX mascara. I could have sworn that I ordered one but I guess I did it, so I'm just going to use a random mascara. And so now I'm just going to dust away the rest of this face powder and also dust away any fallout. So now going back to my face, I'm going back in with that NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm taking the darkest shade out of this palette to contour my face. And it's super pigmented, so a little definitely goes a long way with this powder. It's really, really good. And I'm just taking my powder brush to just brush that out a bit. So now to bronze my skin, I'm going in with my NYX Matte Bronzer. And this is in the color Deep Tan. So now to highlight my face, I'm going in with this Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. I'm just going to be using that rosier one in the center here. Okay, so I want to show you guys all of my NYX liquid lipsticks or just lippies, period. I really don't know what lip I wanna do. I don't know if I want a matte lip, a glossy lip. Ugh. Hmm. I'm going to just start with aligning my lips first. Let's just get that out of the way. And so I'm going to line my lips with the NYX lip pencil in the color Coco. And so I'm kind of wanting to do this liquid suede just because I haven't used any of these liquid suede. And then over that in the center, I'm going to add another liquid suede. Like I don't know how these are supposed to dry down, so I'm really confused right now. And so last, I'm going to spray my NYX Matte Finishing Spray. I think I'm still going to play around with a few different lip combinations since I do have so many NYX products. 
So I'm going to try a different lip combination because that one, I don't know. So I think I'm going to use the NYX Lingerie in the color Beauty Mart. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot better already. So this is the finished look, guys. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. Be sure to participate in that poll to let me know what brand you want to see in my next one brand tutorial. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.